Saturn has the rings, Earth has life, Mars is red, Pluto is the outcast, and Jupiter is the one with the great red spot. But now we shall henceforth have to refer colloquially to Jupiter as the one with two spots. That's right, another great spot has been found on Jupiter. This one cold and high up in the atmosphere, but it rivals the other spot in size. Scientists recently reported that the dark storm is about 24,000 kilometers across and 12,000 kilometers wide and is about 73 degrees Celsius cooler than its hot surroundings. So they're calling it the great cold spot. A British led team used a telescope in Chile to chart the temperature and density of Jupiter's atmosphere. When they compared the data with thousands of images taken in years past by a telescope in Hawaii, the great cold spot stood out. It could be thousands of years old. It's also different from the more familiar red spot because this weather system is continually changing in shape and size. It's much more volatile than the slowly changing red spot. The classic red spot is a persistent zone of high pressure that produces an anticyclonic storm on the planet just south of the equator. It has been continuously observed since 1830, but this new dark spot is actually formed by the effects of Jupiter's magnetic field, with a mass of planet's spectacular polar aurora driving energy into the atmosphere in the form of heat flowing around the planet. This creates a region of cooling in the upper atmosphere and a vacuum of space driving a vortex similar to the Great Red Spot. Now that eyes and telescopes have been tuned to the upper atmosphere of Jupiter, scientists hope to gain a better understanding of this massive storm and who knows what other surprises they may find. And now, you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.